what, what are you here for today? Uh, physically, I'm just standing here. Okay. Why, why here of all places? I know you, you don't live nearby. But this is an abortion centre. Okay. And that's why you're standing here. Is, is you standing here part of the protest? No. I'm not are you, protesting. Are you, are you praying? I, I might be praying in my head. Um, so I'll, I'll ask you once more, will you voluntarily come with us now to the police station? <laughs> And so, as you just seen in this one, is asked her what she's physically doing in that spot, and she said she's physically just standing there. She's not protesting. She's just praying in her head. Now, this spot I highlighted in a video. I think it was two years ago, something like that, where a woman got arrested for breaching a public space protection order, which was in place on this spot because of the abortion clinic which is behind where she stood and this is exactly what's happening to this woman so i i still don't know what the public what is in place at this spot and what's forbidden in the public space protection order but it sounds like praying in that spot or protesting in that spot is a part of that uh public protection public space protection order now, I will get into that in, into the video, but as you've seen from this video, all she's doing is standing there. But let's just get straight into it. Okay, thank you. Um, before I ask you any questions about what's going on today, I have to caution you, which is just your right, which is you do not have to say anything. It may harm your defence if you do not mention one question. Something that you later on in court, anything you do say may be given. Uh, what, what are you here for today? Uh, physically, I'm just standing here. Why, why here of all places? I know you, you don't live nearby. But this is an abortion centre. Okay, and that's why you're standing is, is you standing here part of the protest? No, I'm are not you, protesting. Are you, are you praying? I, I might be praying in my head. Um, so I'll, I'll ask you once more, will you voluntarily come with us now to the police station? Okay then, so a little word of advice for anybody which is in a certain, a certain situation where the police have read you your rights. Remember, everything you say after that will be held against you and could be held in a court of law. So it is in your best interest to say nothing and request a, a, a solicitor or a lawyer for those Americans, but it's a solicitor. Always get a solicitor and never speak to the police, especially once you've had your rights read to you. Now, everything you do say after that like I said, will be held against you. This person is going to get arrested now. That's why he's just asked her, will she voluntarily go with him? I need to ask you some questions about today and other days where there are allegations that you've broken public space of protection. Uh, if I've got a choice, then no. Okay, well then you're under arrest. I can't suspicion of failing to comply with the public space of protection order, which is under the Antisocial Behaviour Crime and Policing Act 2014. Now, I'll caution you again, you do not have to say anything. It may harm your defence if you do not mention one question, something which you later on in court, anything you do say may be given. Do you understand the caution? I do. Yeah. Um, your arrest is necessary in order for a prompt and effective investigation into the offence. What that means is so that I can ask you some questions because you want to come in by the time. And also to protect uh, vulnerable people, mainly service users in the clinic. Okay? Um, so you'll accompany us out to the police station, uh, you get booked in front of a custody sergeant. And then if you want to solicit, you can assist her on the link. Okay? Alright then, so let's get straight into the uh, public space protection order. It is covered under the Antisocial Behaviour and Crime and Policing Act of 2014, Section 59, which is this. So what I'm going to do is this, because that's what's relevant at this time. 1. A local authority may make a public spaces protection order if satisfied on reasonable grounds that two conditions are met. 2. The first condition is that a. Activities carried on in a public place within the authority's area have had a detrimental effect on the quality of life of those in the locality, or b. It is likely that activities will be carried on in a public place within that area and that they will have such an effect. 3. The second condition is that the effect, or likely effect, of the activities a. Is, or is likely to be, of a persistent or continuing nature. B is, or is likely to be, such as to make the activities unreasonable, and C justifies the restrictions imposed by the notice. So, what, the, what this 
uh, public space protection order is actually saying. I don't know if condition one is met or condition two is met to put a public space protection order in on that place just because there is uh, an abortion clinic there. Now, is her standing there saying nothing to nobody and praying in her head, making the quality of life in the area so bad that the it, it's unlivable? No. No, it's not at all. And do you think that the activity is, is carrying out she's carrying out is is affecting anybody no is it persistent possibly so maybe one might be met but the main part is not met at all so i honestly don't believe they've got enough grounds because you have to have reasonable grounds that two conditions are met two not just one of these conditions both of them have to be met and the first conditions are not met in my opinion. And the reasonable grounds I don't believe are met neither. And the fact that it's a... I know this public space protection order in this area has been going on for two years. That's a long time for a public space protection order to be in play. It's absolutely ridiculous and stupid reason to be arrested. Standing on the corner saying nothing and doing nothing. Um, I don't tend to handcuff you, but obviously my, my colleague will search you because you're going to get into a police car and make sure you don't have anything to do with armour, so you can just... Okay. So is it okay? Just take this clip out. Do you want to do it just because it won't? Thank you. Could you sign me two, four, four, six? So what we do with things like phones when you pop tea, you can hold it and it's recorded when you get the custody.
the reception now, okay? What we're doing for this gentleman, where you're going, which police station now? Okay. okay then, so I've let the search go on uninterrupted as the just search, you know, she's been, well, they're not doing anything wrong here. I just honestly don't believe that the public space protection order is reasonable at all for that area at all because what they're saying is is it that one little spot right on that corner that the that it is in or is it the whole street is it the whole area because if it is there's a few big issues with that isn't in the in my opinion because what they're saying is you can't stand and pray you can't pray at all and you can't have uh any sort of like protest in that area which is taking away your freedom to protest your right to a peaceful protest and then they're also stopping it if anybody in the houses is religious and they have to pray they're also breaking the public space protection order because they are, then they are praying the limits on a public space protection order cannot limit that sort of stuff so it's a bit unreasonable in my opinion that they are allowed to put such um, restrictions in place to prevent people from having the ability to freedom of protest and the ability to religious religion in that specific area is absolutely outrageous and a breach of the human rights. Now, I don't know how they've got managed to put it in, but they have, and it's been in place for a long time. But well, all of this is just my opinion. Let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this interaction. As always, like the video, it does open YouTube's algorithm, and I'll catch you on the next one.